So what I'm going to do, you know, once we get done here with this video, I'm going to put another layer of fresh manure across the top of this and wet it down. And then that way, all that stuff that they hadn't worked yet has gotten mixed back down into the castings rich material. All that bacteria is going to start breaking breaking down that manure. Okay. Now then, our next one, the worms have been working this material for months. Okay. And it's it's really pretty close. It's it's still not quite to where I'm I'm really ready to harvest it yet. But it's very close. You can see the difference in the texture. Now I really do need to move the camera a little bit because we're getting higher. I'm just sort of building up here. See if we can get this camera in here a little bit closer. To actually see. the difference in the texture of the material. Now I had a little worm crawling around on the table underneath me that went through when I was turning so I uh, put him back in here. Now you can see that this material is much finer Then the original stuff. Let's see here. I can try to get it into an area where you can see it better. And as I turn this, you're going to see this material. It, I, I don't water this any more than the other, but because of the different texture of the material, it seems wetter and there's a lot more babies down in here than in that top layer and the material is just much much finer very spongy has a coffee grounds feel to it um, lots of babies And you can just you can see that there just isn't near as much recognizable manure, straw, anything in this. It looks like castings. And indeed, it is a very good portion of it is castings. Now what I'll probably do is I'll get this turned and I'll leave it for one more week. And then next week, if it's still if it if it's not all looking just like this then um, I'll turn it again but more than likely in this next week the rest of this material most of its actually wood and the wood doesn't compost as fast I could very easily just start encouraging the worms out of this and what I would do to do that is just um, set it up with this tray on the top and I would go in and I would leave the top the lid off of the worm compost off the bin and I would just go in there two or three times a day whenever I thought about it and just stir it up like this start getting the air into it so it starts drying a little bit getting the light in there and the worms will just start will dive and we'll just go down into the um, the bin that I just showed you and then at that point um, once the worms are all out of this I will have an empty tray I will put fresh manure into it wet it down and I will just set that leave that new tray on the top 
and let the worms start migrating up into it. And as they start migrating up into it, then I start feeding it. So it's a very natural progression. You have a lot of control over, over your worms in a system like this. That's what I like about the towers, is that you have a lot of control. If you've got worms where you don't want them, it's very easy to coax them out of that area um, without it taking you a whole lot of time or effort and without stressing the worms out at all. You know, it's just a very natural thing for them to just dive and go right on down into that other tray. And there's fresh bedding down there. There's food down there. I haven't fed this tray for a while. You know, they just, they just keep continue working the bedding, working the bedding, leaving their castings behind. You can see the little tiny, I mean, there are just really tiny little worms, um, tiny little worms in this, um, in this tray that, that are just hatching. And what's nice about um, handling your worms in a system like this is that you can get those babies out of this material and down into the next tray without losing any of them. You know, they're, they're all going to leave that material. They're all going to migrate out of this top tray along with all the other worms. So it's just really a wonderful system. I really like the towers a lot. Um, they're clean. You know, you don't, you're, you're not getting a bunch of material all over the floor. And it's just, it just makes, makes a nice system. So from there then, I have another worm crawling around down there. So from there, I'm going to show you the third tray, which is the tray that I have already encouraged the worms to leave. This is finished material, and it's, you know, it's dry. Um, it still needs to dry just a little bit more. I haven't really had my hands in here um, often enough to really you know, I um, shouldn't have these clods, um, the little lumpy clods. Um, by now, this should be a really just a nice, fine um, material, but I haven't been getting in here and just working it. It's just a process of just working it with your hands, breaking everything up, getting the air evenly distributed throughout the material, and getting it dried enough to either go through a screen or you know just use it you can see what beautiful material this is um, it would be just great you know to just take out and just add to the garden um, mix it in with um, potting soil but if you if you wanted to use it in a seed starting mix I would definitely dry it a little bit further put it through an eighth inch screen so that you the material that you end up with is just very very fine it's beautiful it looks just like coffee grounds um, only you can tell it's not but it's that it's that fine kind of consistency and it's it's castings and so you have a very fine material to use in your um, seeding mix so that's it um, for today and I hope that you got a good visual uh, on um, the various stages of the vermicomposting and um, I will talk to you later. Bye!